How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now for today we are going to take a look at the MM710 from Cooler Master, which as you guys can see has this uh, more honeycomb mesh like a pattern which we are seeing a lot uh, more recently. The main objective with this design is to make the mouse as light as uh, possible with, to my knowledge, the MM710 being the lightest gaming mouse currently at 53 grams. Now there are some other ones that's pretty much around the same weight, just around the 50-55 grams. So uh, you do have a few options, but we're going to take a look at the MM710 in this review. Being that it's my first such a light mouse that I've tested. There are again some of the other ones, but this is the first one that I've actually used with this more open design. And currently this mouse is retailing for only $50 or a 700 Rand, which is honestly not a bad because this thing does have a really good sensor with that. Now then starting off with the design of the MM710, you guys will see with the honeycomb pattern, you can actually see a right through it and it does look a bit strange. It might seem that it's actually a bit more flimsy, might break, but that's actually not the case. Because of the more honeycomb uh, cutouts, it's actually still really sturdy, so you don't have to worry about that. Again, the mouse is really light at only 53 grams, which is, to me personally, a bit too light. I do like more of the 80 grams around there, but this thing does feel extremely, extremely snappy if you do like a flick shot and stuff like that. Now, with the MM710, it is made out of ABS plastic, which is pretty standard these days for a mice. And also, you might be thinking that because of this more open design, it might get really dirty and it most likely will with dust, but luckily with the MM710, it's actually water resistance from around there downwards because it's pretty much just open. There's nothing going on there. Uh, if you do get the uh, motherboard weights, then of course that will break it. So I wouldn't really recommend that, uh, but luckily you can just like take a air compressor or any type of a heavy wind device that actually just blows out all of the dust. Same thing that you would do with your case and your fans. Now, because the primary focus for this mouse is to make it as light as possible, it is also a bit smaller than a lot of other mice. It's not too small, but it does fit into your hand pretty well. I wouldn't say that it's a more a palm grip style mouse, although you can, but your fingers might stretch a bit too over to the front, or you might not have enough space on the sides. But if you're looking for a fingertip or claw style grip mouse, this is definitely going to work well with that. But me being personally more of a palm style grip user, it wasn't really a problem for me. Now you might also be thinking that because of this more open honeycomb pattern design, it's not smooth, you are going to feel that uh, open edges and it's not gonna be as comfortable. And honestly, that wasn't really a problem for me, especially if you're in game, you're not focusing on your mouse, you're more focusing on the gameplay and you actually forget entirely about the more open shape. You do kind of feel it, but it's more like there's a few bumps or it's a bit more a rougher material on the palm rest and that's pretty much it. No problems other than that. But uh, just before we jump into actually testing this mouse out in some uh, games and seeing how that light or weightness actually feels in the real world, let's go quickly go over the rest of uh, the design. So firstly, you do on the left side get a two thumb buttons, which do feel pretty uh, decent with Omram switches. However, the th space between your thumb at the bottom and for the buttons are a bit low. That's mostly just because of the smaller size of uh, the mouse, but I didn't have any problems uh, pressing the thumb buttons. On the right side, you pretty much get the exact same styling there, same shape, where it does also have a bit less space for your pinky and ring finger to rest on. I did find that my pinky did slide around more on the mouse pad a bit more, but honestly, it wasn't uncomfortable. And again, if you are looking for more of a smaller mouse, then this is definitely not gonna be a problem for you. 
Moving on to the left and right mouse clicks. Now these of course do use OMROM switches with a 20 million click life cycle. Nothing really new there and they are nice and snappy. I don't really have any problems with missed clicks or anything like that. Also travel distance was pretty decent. Again, OMROM switches, just a good overall. But I did find that because of the materials used that it does wobble around a bit more. It doesn't really impact performance anything it didn't really bother me it's just something that i noticed and i wanted to mention if you are ocd about something like that then there you go but again it didn't impact the performance in any way then as for the scroll wheel you do get a standard scroll honestly it does have nice distinct steps it's not too loud and then also it does come with a rubber texture grip and you do have a metal mouse button click but just behind the scroll wheel, you do get the DPI selection switch that lets you switch between seven different DPI levels. On the fault, it ranges from 400 to 16,000. But of course, you can go change that inside of the software with a bunch of other settings. But take a look underneath the MM710. You do get these white glide pads, which at first I thought was like stickers that you needed to remove the layer uh, to reveal the normal glide pads because usually they are black. But no, that's actually how they look. And honestly, they are extremely smooth. The PTFEE glide pads that these are honestly performs so well. And I do wish to see more of these on other mice in the future. Because yeah, they are super smooth on a nice speed mouse pad. But now getting into the sensor, the MM710 does actually have an advantage here above some of the other mice that has this whole cutout and super light design, is that the Pixar PMW3389 optical sensor is one of the best on the market, alongside a few others from the other brands, but this is one of the best that you can get, whereas some of the other mice like these does use the a bit lower quality ones, even though those are still really good. This is just one of the more high-end ones. And also, if you have used any of the mice with the PMW3389 optical sensor, you know how good it is. And it just delivers excellent tracking, no rollout, jittering, or anything like that. Just a superb optical sensor. And with this one, it does have a max DPI of 16,000, an IPS of 400, and then also a 1,000 hertz its polling rate. Liftoff distance is also really low at only a single DVD or two millimeters, which is really nice, but you can go adjust that inside the software if you wanted to. And then the final thing before we get into how it feels in gaming, and that is the cable. So this actually uses the Ultra Weave cable that is a type of a braided cable at 1.8 meters, but it is extremely, extremely flexible. Honestly, I didn't get it caught on anything. I can wrap it around my finger, no problem. And I do wish to see more of these type of cables on other mice because it is extremely light and extremely extremely flexible so definitely something that I want to see more but now then let's get into how this mouse performed in gaming and again honestly for me it was a bit too light now that's just me again I do like my mice around the 80 and 90 grams uh, where you can actually still feel like there's actually something in your hand with the MM710 it's so light you can just flick it with a single finger almost across your extra large mouse pad I pretty much did that so having a super light mouse like this is going to be up to what you honestly want. Now I will say that again, it performed really well in games. I played some CSGO, some Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and it's extremely light and extremely snappy. I'm not the best with doing flick shots, but it did feel really nice. It didn't tire up my hand or anything if I wanted to do a lot because of the, uh, the weight of the mouse. It's also going to be just a breeze literally <laughs> to uh, move around the mouse and especially again with the cable it's so smooth you don't have to worry about it getting caught or anything you don't need a mouse bungee or anything like that it's really really nice but for the people who are looking for an extremely light gaming mouse then 
yeah here you go excellent sensor extremely light again i believe it's currently the lightest one on, on the market uh, but there are a few other ones that you can also take a look at the only thing that i'm a bit disappointed on with this one is that it doesn't feature any rgb now again you don't really need rgb but there are some of the other brands that do feature rgb along the sides on the palm rest and also around the scroll wheel so I would like to see some RGB in hopefully the next uh, model that they can implement. But yeah, that is pretty much it for my look at the MM710 a mouse. Again, actually a pretty affordable mouse at only 700 a rand or $50. It's a really well-priced mouse for everything that you get, especially with that sensor. And I do highly recommend it. Again, there are some other options that you can go for that does have the same type of design. But for here in South Africa, this is one of the only options, I believe. We don't really have that many currently, I, maybe just one other one. So having this as an option is really gonna be nice. And if you are looking for an extremely light mouse with nice flick shots, then there you go. But anyway, a big thanks to Claw Master for sending this mouse hour for review. Also, if you guys want to get it for yourself, I will leave links in the video description where you can get it on Rebel Tech if you live here in South Africa or on Amazon, of course, if you do live overseas. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I will take all of you next time. Cheers, guys.